Hi, John Mortensen, owner and operator of PetDoorStore.com, and I've got something a little different today. I'm not going to show you a pet door. Instead, I'm going to show you an automatic sliding glass door opener. Now, um, this is the first one of these that we've ever sold. Uh, there have been some on the market. They're kind of fidgety with the adjustments and all that sort of thing. This one, it, it uses like a rack and pinion system for your car people. So there's a, a, a gear that's attached to a motor, the pinion gear down there. And then that drives the rack, which is this long gear that's, that's uh, bolted to the bottom of this sliding glass door. Now, I should say that, that this unit comes in white and black. I chose a white one so that it would stand out against this bronze door frame. But it, you can get one that's a better match for your door if you have a bronze door. Um, okay, so how does this thing work? Well, I think it's really designed for people who have trouble opening sliding glass doors. Maybe handicap or in a wheelchair or something like that. And then uh, basically it comes with two of these buttons and you mount one button on the inside, one button on the outside, hit the button and it opens up. Now you can see already, I mean, it's, it's really not very loud at all, which is great. Um, there's a little bit of gear mesh noise, but it's, it's pretty quiet, uh, which I was really happy with when I was surprised with and happy with when I, when I got it installed. Um, if you're looking at this video, you're probably not too interested in this. You want something that your pet can do. And, and there's, they've actually got three different solutions for that. And I'll go through all of them. The first one is an infrared type of a setup. So it's got a little infrared eye on this side. You mount one on the outside. They're wireless. And essentially, uh, they're just looking for motion. If they see motion, they open the door. Your dog comes in. Now, those are great if your dog is the only thing that's going to be out in your backyard. Uh, if you've got uh, a fenced-in yard, and there's no raccoons or possums running around or something like that, uh, that, that I think would be my first choice. I think that really is a good way to, to solve this problem. Um, the other options are, well, they've got two. There's this pet mat, and this, you actually get two of these. Um, so each one of these has uh, a wireless sensor that's connected to this pressure mat. Now this part it is sensitive to water, so if you don't have a covered patio like we do here, um, you, this is probably not going to be the best solution for you. But basically, uh, you set this underneath a floor mat, you stick this to the wall, and there you go. And uh, when your pet comes up and pushes on the mat, the door opens. Now, you might notice that the door didn't open all the way. Um, with any of these pet openings, the infrared, this one or the other one that I'll talk about, um, you can set how far this opens. Um, it can be set as low as, I believe, seven and a half inches or as wide as 20 inches. And 20 inches is wide enough for the biggest dog on the planet. So that's more than enough room. Um, but, uh, but it's nice that it doesn't open up, open up the door all the way up uh, just to let a little you know, shih tzu through or something like that. Um, so the pet sensors are great, but they have the sensitive, sensitivity to water issue. They also, uh, if your dog likes to sit right in front of the sliding glass door, <laughs> I mean, if you, I should just show you, if, if your dog is laying on this, it's going to open up and it's not going to close until your dog <laughs> gets off of it. So, um, so definitely, if you have a dog that likes to lay in front of the sliding glass door and you want to use this, what you can do, this doesn't have to be right in front of the door. This can be over off to the side somewhere. And, and you can actually train your dog to go over there, step on the thing, and then the door opens and they go out. So it doesn't have to be right there, but that's something to look out for. You do have a dog that likes to nap right in front of the slider. Uh, the third system is a uh, collar key setup. Now the collar keys aren't the RFID chips or anything like that. It's just a magnet collar key. And the sensor is hardwired, so that's a little bit more uh, trouble on the, on the installation. And the, the, if, if I was doing it here, for instance, I'd have the sensor mounted here, and I'd have to run the wire down over here and then to the unit itself. Now, if you do it on the top, you know, you can, you can poke a hole here and poke a hole here, maybe one in the corner, and run it up there and have it nicely all tucked inside the wall. Down on the bottom, um, it's kind of a problem because, uh, you know, it's, it's tough to get under the floor. Uh, but you can get behind that drywall pretty easily and patch the drywall and paint it. It's like nothing ever happened. But, um, but you know, aside from the wiring issue, there is a problem with the... Um, with the collar key setup. And the problem is uh, that it has a range of about 40 centimeters or 16 inches. So uh, 
I, I, one of the things that I really like about this particular setup is that you can use it for a great big dog, a mastiff, an Irish wolfhound, or something like that. You know, if you have a regular, typical panel pet door, pet door is so wide that you can't get through it anymore. You can't get through the, the remaining space uh, that's left uh, past the, the, the panel. Uh, this you can use for a great big dog and it's no problem at all. You can still use the whole space to get through yourself. But if you've got one of those great big dogs, like an Irish wolfhound is the one that keeps popping up in my mind. And I got a long nose, got a long head, got a long neck attached to that. I have no problem you know, imagining in my mind that you have more than 16 inches from the tip of that dog's nose to where the collar key is. So if that's the case, I mean, that dog could be, you know, nose to the window and the collar key is still not in range. And that, that is an issue. So, um, you know, then, then you're back to the infrared or, or the pressure mat. You know, in all of these, obviously the door has to remain unlocked all the time for these things to, to work. If this is locked and you hit the button, it just doesn't do anything. It'll, it'll, try the sensor resistance and it'll stop. So uh, you're relying on your on your pets for security for your home at that point. But uh, but the collar key one at least would keep the raccoons and that sort of thing out if you know you don't have the issue with the, the long nosed dog, I guess you might say. Okay so here's the auto slide with the uh, cover removed. This is the electric motor and this is the shaft that drives the gear which might be barely visible there. And it works this uh, this, this rack gear. So it, it turns and the rack gear pulls the door open and close. And I just thought I'd give you a close-up of that and also um, be quiet for a second so you can hear the noise that it makes. So as you can hear, there's just a little tiny bit of gear noise there. It's really not much uh, more noisy than the door opening and closing without the auto slide unit on it. And uh, you know, I talked to the manufacturer about this. They have a one year warranty and I asked them, you know, what do you think the expected lifespan is of this? And they said, well, uh, we've got customers who've uh, had them installed since we first uh, came out with it uh, six or seven years ago. And they said probably 10 years is a pretty good uh, expectation of the life of this product. So. For the price, uh, and, and especially for the people with the bigger dogs, I really think this thing makes a lot of sense, and uh, I'm real excited about it. So uh, if you have any questions or anything, give me a holler. Um, you can get me by phone at 866-377-3667, email at sales at petdoorstore.com. You can chat with me on the website. The chat button's at the bottom of the screen. Just click on it, and if I'm around, I will... Uh, I'll answer your chat. I even do that after hours if I'm around. So uh, try me anytime on the chat. And uh, thanks very much for watching.